Hi friends! So we have been learning a lot about caterpillars that transform into butterflies and there are not a lot of other animals in the world that do that. Most animals start as just a baby version of what they're going to grow into. Like we start off as just a little baby person and then we grow into a big person. So there's a lot of animals that usually just grow like that. Like a baby zebra just grows into a big zebra and a baby lion cub just grows into a big lion. But a frog is similar to a butterfly because when it is born, it looks really different from what it will look like when it's all grown up. It has to go through a metamorphosis and that means it's going to transform and look very differently in its different stages of life just like a caterpillar and a butterfly. So let's look. A frog starts off like a little egg, just like the caterpillar started in an egg. A mama frog can lay lots of eggs at one time, sometimes even hundreds of eggs. So every little black dot you see in there, that's a different baby frog egg. And these eggs will hatch, but we won't see a baby frog at first. We will see a tadpole. A tadpole looks like this. Kind of is like a fish and it will be swimming in the water. It's a tadpole sometimes called a polywog. You might hear that too. And it will stay in this form for a while swimming in the water. In the springtime you'll probably see some tadpoles if you go to a lake or a river like a little inlet of water. When I used to live up in Duluth if you went by the lake and there's lots of rocks over there so the waves would wash over the rocks and there'd just be like little pools of water. We would see hundreds of tadpoles swimming in those little pools of water between the rocks. So this is the perfect time of year to be looking for tadpoles because all of the spring animals are being born. So look for a tadpole or a polywog. If you see one, you know it's going to turn into a frog. So it's gonna stay a tadpole for a while and then it will start to change. But a frog doesn't change like a caterpillar does. It doesn't get into a chrysalis and come out two weeks later like, oh, I'm a butterfly. No, it doesn't have a chrysalis time like that and go in as one thing and come out as another. A tadpole takes about 12 weeks, almost three months to become a frog. And in that process, oh, it's just living life, just swimming just having fun and slowly it will start to change. It might not even realize it's changing at first because it just happens slowly while he's out and about doing his life. So the next stage is when the tadpole loses his gills. You see how now he has more of like a frog face? His gills were on the side of his face and they were helping him breathe. But now he's going to develop lungs like a frog has, just like we do. We were learning about that last week. So now the lungs are forming and he's getting more of a frog face for breathing. But still has the tadpole tail. So he'll still be swimming in the water like a fish. Just like that for a couple more weeks. He'll be in that stage. Then the tadpole is going to start to look a lot more like a frog because he's gonna grow his hind legs. So now he'll have all four frog legs. One, two, three, four. And that's the fun part because all of a sudden this tadpole will probably start to realize, hmm, something's different. I'm not swimming like a fish so much anymore. I'm doing a little bit of hopping, doing a little bit of swimming with my legs. Hmm, things are starting to be different. And it's just happening little by little every day. He'll start to be more like a frog. And this tadpole tail here, it'll just fall off. And, and that doesn't hurt. It's just when he doesn't need it anymore because now he has his four frog legs, the tadpole tail will just come off. And when that happens, he'll be a frog, all grown up, an adult frog. So that's it, about three months after he was born, now he's a grown up frog. And it looks just like the kind of frogs that we see hopping in our backyard, hopping by the sidewalk, swimming in the lake, maybe sitting on a lily pad, taking a rest. Just a real frog that we see a lot. So now when you see a frog, you'll know 
that started as a tadpole. And little by little, week after week, slowly it turned into a frog, just like we recognize the frogs. So those are the stages of change for a frog in his life cycle, similar to the caterpillar that turns into a butterfly. And not very similar to us, because when we are born, we are a little baby human. We have our hands and our arms and our feet and our legs and our heads and our bodies, all of our parts. And we're just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So we do not change like a frog does, but they're pretty fun to see. And I'm glad that God made animals to be different. Some of them are born how they're going to look when they get older. Some of them are born not looking at all like how they'll look when they get older. And it's fun to see all the different kinds of animals God made. He's very creative, and he made sure that animals would be different, and they're all fun to see. All right, friends, well, let's go do some more frog activities today. I'll see you in a bit.